Okay, guys, I'm starting this off with something a little different. I made these, I had this great idea to make these snow globe cookies for my family for Christmas. <laughs> these are the better ones, believe it or not. It's like a chocolate covered Oreo with white dipping chocolate. And I, cupcake toppers are so expensive, you guys. So I thought I could maybe like ice a Christmas tree and put snowflakes over top like it's snowing. And then you stick it to a Reese's cup. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> That's the best I could do. Hold it and I'll show you the ones that didn't turn out that great. Okay, these are the ones that didn't turn out that great. Um, yeah, these are the misfit ones. I mean, does that even look like a tree? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I had this great idea and I tried, but it just... I'm sure they'll taste good, but... Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the... Oh, and I'm putting them in these boxes with some, like, tissue paper and stuff. And there's the other box. Sorry, I'm moving everywhere. But, um, let me show you the cards I made them to. Okay, I couldn't get my camera to focus very well, but... Okay, these are the envelopes that I made. Just, they're all pretty much the same, just with decorations. That one... That one. It was pretty fun. It took a long time though. I didn't know how else to do them, so I just kind of took regular cards, which I'll show you in a minute what I used, and then I um, collaged over top of them and took these envelopes that I had in my stash, and they fit the cards really well, so I just decorated them. And here's the cards, you guys. So this is the first one. This one will go to Bean because of the puppy dog on the front. Here's the next one. Just sew it around to them, put some lace on them. This one's like this. I'm hoping my camera stays focused, but. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of money this time, you guys. As you know, I'm, I'm trying. But I just thought this would be something I could make for them. Maybe they'll like it. I tried. With all the stuff I bought for the crazy snow globe cookies, though. Jeez, I should have just gave them gift certificates. <laughs> it would have turned out better. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so that's those, and then I have, uh, these are the cards, here, let me get these out of the way real quick. These are the cards I used, I um, collaged over to make for those. I just took regular cards. I didn't use the envelopes, though. I used my own stash of envelopes. But, like, even, like, oh, is that the only card I had left? Yeah, well, these, they were bigger. This is a smaller one. But yeah, that's what I did. I just got cards from the thrift store and then collaged over top. These are my stash of envelopes that I used for them. I practiced on some of them. So, And then I've been busy making stuff. I'll show you guys some of the things I made. I'm not going to put this up until tonight because just in case my family would happen to watch this, I don't want them to see their presents even though they ain't the greatest presents in the world. But I try to keep that to minimum. And then I'll show you the, <laughs> the craziness that I made at scalp potatoes and ham. Yeah, we'll go there in a second. Okay, so let's just show you what I made. So I was on a cluster thing. I don't know why. But I thought, man, I, those clusters come in handy. So I put some together. These are all set and sewn. Set in stone. Set and sewn. So that when I go to use them, I can just put like a little topper on them. And, you know, just make them however. Like say I wanted to put this like that or... You know, just like, not even Christmassy, but just put a little topper on it, depending on what I'm using them for. But this one, I didn't ink any of them either, but um, just use some different, I use silver thread on that one. Just that. And I'm, I know I keep talking about my Etsy account. I'm just really scared, you guys, because you know how nervous you get whenever you're selling stuff to people and you don't know if they're going to like it the same way that you like it. So I'm trying to get the nerve up to do that. I thought maybe... That was with the iridescent thread. I thought maybe I might sell some of the ephemera I make because I'm a little more confident about that and just put it in packages and sell it maybe. 
because I'm not, I haven't made a journal for a while. I made it some folios, but not a journal. I should probably work on a journal, huh? But there's all these. I had fun putting all these together. It's really easy. I just sew them together. And I could thread my needle really well this time. I don't know what was up with me the other day. I could not get that thing to... I thought I was losing my mind. Definitely losing my vision, though. I know that. Okay, and then here's some of the ephemera I made recently. This is a pocket. Like that. Just like that. Uh, just a tag. I was just goofing around. Just picking things I usually don't use. There's that. This is a pocket right here. This is a acetate pocket. Just a journaling card. Tag. These are all back too. Just another tag. Just a pocket. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Should tag with a little eyelet in there. I'll oh, save that one for last. Another tag. I ran the around the back. This one I made, it was kind of like I just put it all together. So I made one of those double tag or double pocket things. I actually did it the right way, so it has two things in it. And then I made um, different tags to go in it that match. So that was kind of cool. This would be things that I would sell, like things that are go together like this. And real pretty and stuff. And yeah, like that. So that's that one. And then I made this journaling card. Okay, so are you guys ready to be off to see the scalp potatoes? And then I'll let you go. And then I will make, kind of try to make a normal video of doing, starting a journal or ephemera or something. So, but anyways, I want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope your presents came out the right way. And don't forget the real reason for Christmas. It's that guy up there. And um, just enjoy time with your family. If you aren't hanging out with family, just take the time to think of things you're grateful for. And believe me, once you start doing that, you realize there's a lot of things you're grateful for that you, you don't think about every day. All right, so let me show you the scalp potatoes, and then I'll leave you alone. Okay, so this is the scalp potatoes and ham, you guys. You think this is going to be enough for 15 people? I'm thinking I did a little too much in here. But there's mushroom soup, cheddar cheese, heavy cream, milk, potatoes, ham, butter, salt, pepper. I will let you know how it turns out or even if it, it, if it even gets cooked by the time I got to take it. So cross your fingers, thumbs up for me, knock on wood for me. Okay, Merry Christmas everyone. I will talk to you soon. Hope you're all doing good. Bye. Oh, I wanted to show you guys before I go my partner in crime. Hey, Clue. Say hi. Watch your little foot, guys. You're not gonna do it now? You're not gonna do it? There. <laughs> Stop it, Teddy. She's mom. Cut it out. <laughs> Mad at you, mom. Okay, there's your little tail. Are we in on your tail? Okay. Alright, Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.